Hey guys, so for day 15, I'm going to be doing some glow in the dark poison bottle aquarium nails. So as you can see, I do have some markings on these nail tips. That is just so I know how far to take up the backing and to be able to leave enough little space there for my natural nails and like the tips of my fingers. Now I'm going to be taking some rhinestone glue and I'm just using the plastic part on this pack of index cards to spread it out on. This is how I'm making the backings of my aquarium nails. Um, I'm just making sure that the rhinestone glue is long enough to cover from the free edge of the nail all the way up to that marking that I made on the nail and then I take the nail tips and I just press them into that rhinestone glue while it's still wet and then I cure for 60 seconds And because it's on this plastic, it just pulls up real easily. Then I take some scissors and cut all the nails apart. And then I take my cuticle nippers and go around and cut all the excess rhinestone glue off. Now I'm just taking my rhinestone glue and adding it to the top of the nail or right where the um, nail bed area is to seal off that end of the nail. Um, I make sure to add a pretty good uh, amount of it to make sure that it fills in the entire space. Then I flash cure it real quick with my little flash cure light. And then I go ahead and cure for 60 seconds in my big light. So to fill the nails, I do just have a little bit of baby oil in this little dish right here. And I don't have very much in it because I was just using this for one nail. Each nail is going to be a different color. Um, then I decided to mix in some glow powders and I wasn't really sure if this was going to work and make them glow. I wasn't sure if mixing it in with the baby oil would kind of like dilute it and affect the glow of the powder. But um, mixing up that glow powder into the baby oil was super hard. It did not want to like dissolve or like mix in at all. But it did mix up a little bit and once I got it good enough, I um, suctioned it up into the syringe and uh, squeezed it into the nail. Now I didn't fill these nails up all the way because one, I wanted them to look like the poison that was in them was had been used some so I wanted them to look you know half full or partially full um, I also felt like having that little bubble in there would um, help show the movement I feel like if it was just completely filled up with the liquid there'd be really no movement at all but I discovered later um, that the glow powder actually kind of settles in the baby oil and it separates from it. So um, even if it was completely filled up and there was no air bubble, you would have seen movement still because you would have seen the glow powders moving around in there. But after I got them filled up, I sealed up the nail with some more rhinestone glue flash cured it with my little flash cure light and then stuck it in my big light for 60 seconds 
So I did use the same bowl and syringe for all of these. So to clean those up for the bowl, I just took a cotton ball and soaked up the remaining uh, baby oil and glow powder that was in the bowl and that cleaned that out and then to clean out the syringe if there was any um baby oil left in there i just squeezed the rest of that out uh into the trash and then um i squeezed it out a few times to make sure it was all out and that was really it for that <laughs> Now that all the nails are sealed up, I'm just going in and filing um, that seal to make sure it's all smooth and even with the rest of the nail. And I am doing this very gently and with a 180 grit file because it is softer than the 80 grit that I usually use just to make sure that I'm not uh, busting open the nail and getting any leaks and I do check every now and then by flipping the nail over to make sure there's no leaks forming but if there is a leak I do go ahead and seal it up which I did get a leak in the red one but I didn't get it in the um, free edge seal I got it up at the nail bed area seal and I have no idea how that happened I must have been holding the nail too tight and ended up busting the seal there so I did lose quite a bit of the red mixture in there and I didn't bother to try and fix it and fill it up some more I just felt like it added to the whole um, that it's been used a whole bunch aspect of the nail and now I'm going in with a brown gel polish kit that I got off Amazon. Uh, it's a Beatles kit um, and it's a whole bunch of different browns to create the cork at the top of the nail. Like how um, a little glass bottle would have a cork. So I'm just putting down this like orangish brownish color. Uh, as the base of the cork and then I cure that for 60 seconds And then after that's cured, I go in with the different shades of brown from the kit and my 5mm liner brush and just kind of dab them on and smush them on and swirl them around. Um, I don't cure in between each color that I put on. I also don't really clean off my brush too much between grabbing the different colors. Um, I'm, this is just to create like the texture of the cork. And then after it's the way I want it, I go ahead and cure for 60 seconds.
Now I'm going in and I'm top coating the bottom part of the nails with my shiny top coat because these are to represent like glass bottles. I want these to be shiny. I cured that for 60 seconds and then I did flip them over and top coat the backs of the nails as well and cured that for 60 seconds. And here you can really see what I was talking about, how the glow powder kind of separates from the baby oil. So um, you can kind of see the glow powder separately floating around in there from the baby oil. And now I'm taking this nude color that was in that brown kit to create the labels on the little bottles. Um, each one is going to have like a different label so I do them in kind of different um, shapes and sizes. Once I get the labels on I cure for 60 seconds.
Now for the little pictures that are going to be on the labels. Um, I was going to do a white skull and crossbones on here but as you can see the white is a little bit hard to see on that nude background so I did just end up doing all of the labels in black so like I said on this one it is going to be a skull and crossbones <laughs> On this bottle, I'm just writing out the word poison. This one is also getting a skull and crossbones. This yellow was giving me like biohazard or like radioactive vibes so I decided to go ahead and draw the radioactive biohazard symbol on this label.
And finally, for the purple one, when I thought about doing these poison bottles, I immediately thought of when Kronk from The Emperor's New Groove grabbed the llama potion bottle instead of the poison bottle, and I knew I had to include that on here. So, obviously, for the purple one, it is getting the llama. And then after I got all the little drawings on the labels done, I did Cure for 60 seconds. Now I'm just going in and wiping all the labels off with some alcohol because I am going to go over those with matte top coat. I also wiped the cork part off with alcohol because that is also getting matte top coat. Wiping the nails off with alcohol before going in with top coat just ensures that you won't get that smudging or smearing that matte top coat sometimes produces after i got all of the top coat on i do care for 60 seconds And this is the final result. I absolutely love how these came out. They look so cool. They actually look like little glass vials of poison, which is so cool. And I was a little upset about the glow powder separating from the oil, but in the end, it actually ended up turning out being kind of cool and it gives like this cool effect when you flip the nails um, over to watch them flow back and forth. These are probably my favorite aquarium nails that I've made so far. I just think these look really cool and I stuck them on with little sticky tabs for pictures and videos and I didn't want to take them off. I was having so much fun. Uh, messing around with them and like flipping them up and down and making everything flow around and then sitting in the dark and looking at them glow which they do actually glow I was worried about that and I wasn't sure if this the glow powder was going to still work being mixed in with the baby oil but it does and it is so cool when they're glowing the little red one isn't doesn't move as much because I did lose a lot of the oil when I got that leak, but it still does move and it still does look really cool. And in this clip, you can really see the oil and the glow powders being separated and how they kind of move separately like the glow powder flows way slower in the oil. 
I was upset about that at first, but then when I was seeing how it was moving in the nails, I thought it gave this really cool effect to them. So I wasn't too upset about it anymore. And then this is my favorite part, the glowing. I was so happy when I saw that they actually glowed because again, I was so worried that they weren't gonna glow, but they do and they glow so bright and it just adds that extra bit of like magic kind of to it. <laughs> I just love these nails. They're so fun and they're so cool looking. These are definitely my favorite aquarium nails that I have done so far. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.